Hi folks and thanks for joining me. While I'm waiting on the weather to improve after uh, getting the old finish stripped off of the uh, Cadet 86X, I thought I'd play around a little bit with the uh, heater string voltage and uh, look at uh, doing a replacement for the old ballast tube here. And uh, here's a few photos real quick of the uh, Cadet cabinet after uh, stripping. I think it turned out uh, pretty well. A little tweaking to be done and of course there's a lot of uh, sanding to be done before applying uh, stain or toner lacquers. Looks like that'll be uh, next week or maybe the week after, it's the soonest. Anyway, I want to uh, turn my attention here to the uh, heater string. Uh, this particular set uses a ballast tube to reduce the uh, voltage, uh, the line voltage by right around 49 volts or so, 300 milliamps across the uh, heaters of the tubes and what I've substituted is a uh, diode, a resistor, and then in this case across the uh, pilot lamp which I put in series here with the uh, heater string an additional uh, 5 watt 40 ohm resistor and a Zener diode just to limit the uh, voltage not to exceed uh, 6 volts DC. So when you have that cold startup we're not uh, blowing the uh, light out here, the dial lamp. So uh, looking at this radio, I can tell this electrolytic here, which used to be on top, has been replaced. It looks like it has the original uh, wax or paper caps in here, and all the uh, resistors look to be original. I'm going to do something I don't ordinarily do, and I don't recommend this to folks that are new in the hobby, but uh, I'm going to bring this up on the Variac and look closely here at the uh, amperage and the uh, DC and uh, see if we can kind of bring this uh, capacitor back to life. I've got uh, good tubes in. The uh, 6D6 tube, I don't have the tube shield on, so if this thing even comes alive, we'll probably get all kinds of oscillation and birdies. But uh, let's see if we can get any noise out of this thing at all. Oh, by the way, at the uh, conclusion of this video, I'll uh, show the circuit modifications I made um, here to the uh, heater string where the ballast tube plugged in. And I'll leave it there for a moment, and we'll see if we can get anything out of the rectifier. And right around 60, and you can see the uh, B-plus here starting to uh, respond. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare on the meter and you guys can see that. The uh, B-plus uh, voltage is coming up and you can see here we've got the glow of the dial lamp again which has been moved over into the uh, heater string itself. So it looks like things have stabilized here. I'm about 62 volts AC line and about 82. Turn the volume up here and see if we can hear anything. Alright, we're about 0.18 amps of current, so that's extremely uh, low. And I am seeing the current ramp up and then uh, drop off. And you can see the uh, B-plus voltage where we're sitting at right now. And my line input voltage around 72 volts. Alright, that's a good sign. At least we've got some uh, racket. Nothing that's uh, good for your ears. Okay, I'm about uh, 100 volts AC line input, 0.24 amps DC. I've got the AC line voltage just a little north of 100 volts, and I don't want to go any higher than that and risk uh, creating any uh, problems from an old uh, capacitor and or a, a resistor that's drifted uh, potentially real high 
in value. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, schematic changes that I made to accommodate the uh, ballast tube here by using a uh, resistor in addition to a uh, diode and then we'll take a look as well at the uh, Zener diode that was uh, added and also the uh, 5 watt 40 ohm resistor in uh, parallel with the uh, dial lamp itself here. Here's a look at the uh, Cadet ballast tube, the 165R4M. You guys can see that after doing some de-rusting paint removal. I'm going to leave it in this state, I believe. And uh, here's a look at the ballast um, inside the uh, tube there. And uh, you can see this section's open. I think I could uh, repair it, but uh, these things are just known for uh, going bad just due to the heat. And you can see uh, over time that the uh, tube socket uh, kind of gave up as well uh, due to the heat that uh, had been generated there. So let me set this aside here and uh, let's take a look at the existing circuit. My hand drawing, so I apologize for that here. Hopefully it's, uh, you guys can see this on camera. But um, you see I've got everything called out just in case someone else is troubleshooting the same radio in the future. Uh, where the pin locations and the wiring tied back to here. So I've got my uh, input voltage of around 117 volts. One side goes to circuit ground. One thing I'm not showing here, there is a, a cap um, across the uh, line here. So we'll go back with a safety cap in that area. Uh, the other side of the uh, input here goes back over to the plates of the uh, 25Z5. And you can see here the ballast representing, you know, your longer lead of that wire that we just looked at and then the smaller section which was a uh, shunt resistor back over to the type 40 uh, tube as well. So looking at the specs on the uh, tube, the 165R4, it's rated at 300 milliamps or 0.3 amps, 48.6 volts. And you can see if you do the math, uh, looking at uh, the resistance itself would be equal to the voltage divided by the uh, current flow. So doing the math, that comes out to 162 ohms, roughly, is what would be required to get the uh, voltage drop um, that we need. In addition to the voltage drop here from the uh, heaters of the tubes across the uh, 25Z5, the 6 alpha 7, 6 delta 6, 25B5, and the 75. So the drop itself here, 68.9, in addition to the 48.6, will give you the 117.5. So you're using up all the voltage. It's the, there. And you can see I've got those uh, summed up here for the total. So this is a look at the uh, current design. Let me grab my other sheet here and uh, let's take a look at my uh, modifications. Here's my uh, modified drawing. I'm showing the increase in the uh, line input voltage here. You can see 121 volts uh, modern day voltage is what I rounded up to. And you can see inside the symbol here for the balanced, I'm showing the uh, 1N 5408 and R1 a uh, power resistor. So you can see I'm going to try to uh, house that inside the uh, tube. I have everything mounted to an old tube socket that I had. Uh, going back to uh, the correct pins. And uh, you can see I'm using a uh, 35 ohm resistor rated at 25 watts. And I have the uh, diode, <coughs> excuse me, the diode here off to the side. So this thing's still going to generate a lot of heat, even though the uh, calculations are just north of uh, 3 watts. But um, I'll check things out, and uh, hopefully I can still get by. Uh, this won't be a, a big player for me. I'll probably just uh, plug it in once in a while, once I'm done with the uh, restoration. So uh, I think I'll uh, take a chance that I can uh, you know, fit this down in here and uh, secure the base. So as I mentioned, the 1N5408, and uh, you can see that feeds across to uh, R1. And then you have the rest of your string. And one thing you'll notice different, I moved the 6-volt uh, Type 40 lamp, the dial lamp, down here to the end of the string. 
uh, right off of the uh, Type 75 tube. So uh, that's where I have it residing and it terminates back at circuit ground in this case. So you can see again I have all my uh, heater voltages, the drops here, uh, totaling 121. So I'm using up everything that's uh, coming in and that's the uh, idea. Everything should match. And I believe my math is accurate. So real quick, to uh, calculate the uh, voltage drop here across the uh, diode itself in R1, R1 you can see is equal to my 121 volts input minus the uh, 74.9 uh, uh, volts that I need to uh, drop in total times 1.414. So everything's looking at uh, peak power. So I'm just taking the RMS voltage uh, times uh, 1.414 to get peak. Doing the same thing for the current. So uh, just using Ohm's law, taking this top number divided by the second number here, R1 will come out to uh, just north of 35 ohms. And that's why I selected uh, 35 ohms for R1. So for the power or wattage here, I'm just taking my line input voltage again minus the uh, 74.9 times the uh, 1.414 times the uh, current as well divided by 2 and that gives us the uh, wattage uh, dissipation needed for uh, R1 as well, 3.2 watts. So you guys can see there I went back with a uh, big wattage uh, resistor since I'm putting it inside that metal can uh, 25 watts with no heat sink uh, less the uh, contact I make there with the uh, outer side of the uh, uh, the tube itself so we'll see if that's substantial or if it still generates too much heat um, let's see the other change here you'll notice the uh, type 40 lamp as I noted I've shifted it down here to where the 75 used to uh, terminate back to circuit ground. And uh, you'll notice that, uh, excuse me, you'll notice I have a shunt resistor in here as well, R2. And the reason for that is the whole string itself really needs to see 300 milliamps or 0.3 amps of current. And uh, you can't see that at uh, 0.15 so that would be a problem so the uh, shunt resistor allows us to go back in and uh, create a 300 milliamp load at this point and to do that R2 to get the value of R2 all I'm doing is taking the voltage I've uh, done my design where I want 6 volts across the uh, lamp itself the type 40 I'm dividing that by 0.3 amps, the circuit itself, minus the 0.15 of the uh, lamp rating itself, because I need to make up the 150 milliamps, and uh, doing the math, it comes out to uh, 40 ohms. So that's what R2 will be, will be uh, 40 ohms. And then to uh, get the power rating, I can just take the 0.3, I can square that, which would be 0.3 times 0.3 times 40 comes out to 3.6 watts. In this case, uh, for now, I had a little 5 watt resistor. That's what I've uh, placed in there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you will notice uh, one other addition I made. And uh, sometimes I'll elect to uh, uh, just forego this. But I've put a Zener diode here. It's reverse biased. So you'll notice here the uh, diodes are facing each other. And I'm just using a 6 volt Zener diode that I had on hand. Uh, you'll see a lot of folks use uh, 6 volt to maybe 7.5 volt or even higher. And uh, same thing here. Um, I'm just uh, making sure my wattage and stuff is uh, correct using uh, Ohm's Law. And uh, I think 5 watts will be substantial for this radio. So around uh, 6 volts or so is what my design's based off of, and I typically find that to be a good volt, volt and a half less. Now, one thing I don't have noted on here that I should have, when you're measuring the uh, voltage, of course, through the uh, diode and resistor, you're going to use the DC scale of the meter, and uh, you'll just multiply your uh, DC 
uh, times 1.57 and that will give you the equivalent uh, RMS voltage, AC RMS voltage. So DC times 1.57 to measure your uh, new uh, heater voltages accordingly. Well, and happy Mother's Day out there to all the mothers as well. Special day there for all the mothers. Again, thanks for uh, watching. You guys take care.